Hello friends, welcome to Medi Lab Solution YouTube channel. This video is about laboratory diagnosis of Candida albicans. So firstly, I show you what kind of specimen we use for laboratory diagnosis of Candida albicans. After that, I show you direct microscopy examination and culture techniques. Finally, I show you how to differentiate Candida albicans from other Candida species. You know, Candida albicans is a part of our normal mitroplora that commonly live in or on our bodies. It can be found in the commercial of mucous membranes and gastrointestinal tract. Most of the time it causes no issues, but it is possible for overgrowth and infections to happen. What are the occasions Candida albicans causes infections? People that are taken antibiotic recently. People with uncontrolled diabetes, immunocompromised individuals, pregnant women, people that are taking oral contraceptives. You know, in this time, most of people take antibiotics. People have uncontrolled diabetes. We can see immunocompromised individuals because of organ transplantations. HIV patients and cancer chemotherapy medications. So laboratory diagnosis of candida albicans is very very important. So let's see briefly about laboratory diagnosis of candida albicans. Its species name albicans comes from the Latin word for white. The yeast appears white when cultured on a plate, and in the case of certain infections like crush, it can create white patches. Specimens are exudates, tissues, and strippings. When specimens receive into laboratory, firstly we do direct microscopy examination. Press stripping in 10% KOH from infected skin and ram stained sputum shows small, oval, thin walled budding yeast cells and PCUD hypae. Ram staining results gram positive. Candida albicans grows on Saborodectrose agar and Trome agar. On Saborodectrose agar, we can see colony is rapidly drawing, smooth, soft, shiny and cream in color, accompanied by a distinctive yeast odor. Old stalks give wrinkled and folded cultures. On Tromegar, we can see green color colonies. Microscopic characteristics On Saborodectrosegar, structures are almost entirely restricted to budding cells with scantionomycelium. The cells are thin-walled, non-encapsulated, spherical or slightly ovoid blastospores, measuring 6 to 10 micrometer, 3.6 to 6 micrometer, where aeration is poor. However, mycelium and pseudomycelium may occur in the subsurface growth. How to differentiate Candida albicans from other Candida species? So we can use germ tube test. Produce germ tube within 2 hours when incubated in human serum at 37 Celsius. Chlamydospores produced by Candida albicans on cornmeal at 25 Celsius. They produce round thick walled chlamydospores born terminally or laterally. Biochemical test Glucose and maltose fermented with acid and gas production. Sucrose and lactose not fermented. Pale pink coloration in tetrasolium reduction medium. Serological test. Limited specificity. Serum antibodies and cell mediated immunity are demonstrable in most people because of lifelong exposure to Candida albicans. Candida albicans antigen is delayed. High hypersensitivity skin test, which is used as an indicator of functions of the CMI. Allies and radioimmunoassay detection of circulating candidial antigen 
either cell wall, menon, or cytoplasmic constituents. 1 tree beta D leucon assay. Beta D leucon is a component of the cell wall of fungi, detected by its ability to activate factor G of the host to trap coagulation cascade. Highly specific and sensitive test. DNA probe and PCR. So, if you like my channel and if you have a question and what kind of video do you need next, please comment below. Thank you for watching my video.